It all starts with a dead girl. Ever since I was little, I've had this dream. It's the end of summer. A girl is running through the woods. The moon, the scent of pines. And then the gunshot. It always felt so real. The blood on my cheek, the cold sweat running down my skin. I'd managed to convince myself it really happened. This scar of a memory. A part of me I could never fully understand. Oh, well, that wasn't the only part. No wonder people used to think I was strange. If they only knew. That day when the phone rang, it was the hardest day of my life. The day I went home to say goodbye to my father dress him up for his last journey, put him in a suit, fix his tie. Simple. Just the things he did every day. But looking through his stuff wasn't easy. I needed a moment to pull myself together. I was almost ready. I just had to find his special tie clip. Hey folks, this is Vagrant, and tonight we're going to start a brand new playthrough. We're going to be playing the psychological horror game, The Medium. Just came out on PC and Xbox Series consoles earlier today. And we're going to play through on absolute maximum settings using a gamepad, which is what the devs recommend. There was a book. October 1999, let's actually read it. October, Memorial of the Holy Guardian Angels, Funeral at 10, Ultrasound on the 4th, she's pregnant, or someone's pregnant, Our Lady of the Rosary on 7th, 9th, there's a biopsy, on the 10th, we're going to send a package to Marianne, on the 14th, Neurological Visit, whoever this is, is, uh, if it's mine, I've got some serious problems going on. Funeral at 12.30 on the 16th, that's the second funeral. Ultrasound, Neurosurgeon Visit, Funeral at 9, Funeral at 11, Pick Up Marianne from Train Station, November, All Saints Day, All, Saint, All Souls Day, Surgery. That is a, it's a rough looking October you've got there, friend. Anyways, this is a really interesting little game. It's kind of a retro inspired horror to some extent. It's got, as you can see already, a kind of fixed camera angle, but... Hello, kitty cat! <laughs> it's it's yeah. a fixed camera angle game, but it's got movement in that camera angle. It's a bit... Unusual, but very retro. It's Jack's pretty cool. Room. It's like he never. Damn it. Oh, look, can I not pet the cat? Jack was a humble 
religious man. He ran a funeral home, and I'd help out whenever I could. It that, felt good to be <laughs> That explains things a lot more. That's good to know that she's not like had like 20 people die in the last five days. It's reassuring. I used to think I'd never fit in. But Jack, he didn't mind my weirdness. It doesn't sound like he's her father. I know she called him dad, but maybe... Maybe it wasn't a typical biological father-daughter relationship. You're pissing at me. Who do you think's gonna feed you now? Hey, she can't. Jack was part of the Solidarity Movement. He spent a few months in an internment camp, but even that couldn't dampen his spirit. Hmm. Oh, is this the tie clip? It's empty. Come on, Jack. Where'd you put it? Okay. Let's do this the other way. Press and hold LB to activate inside. Okay. Ooh. It's like a detective mode. I've got a combine button and everything. Proper Resident Evil looking stuff. Very cool. Okay, I think that's it. Jack's waiting downstairs. I'm gonna go, kitty cat. Say goodbye. Okay. So yeah, playing uh, first time I've been able to play a game in a very long time on absolute max settings. That's with ray tracing shadows and the LSS and all that kind of nonsense. This is a lovely Here, room. Back in my old room. So many memories. These walls could talk, eh? Kids from the orphanage. Not all of them had my love. Right, so she was adopted That's by Jack. Coming back to play, to take care of them. To, that was the least I could do. Accidental lap, sorry. Okay, that's a lovely lamp. Side note, there's a radiator over here. <laughs> Those of you watching from the US, do you have radiators? Apparently it's a very European thing to do, which boggles my mind slightly. I used to get a lot of these. To me, they were like trophies. Badges of honor for doing the right thing. Jack wasn't too amused, but he did his best to cover for me. I kind of feel bad for making him go through all that. Dear Mr. Orkin, we must request you to attend the next parent-teacher meeting as we would like to discuss with you the situation that took place last Thursday. To recap, Marianne gave one of the students a message from his recently deceased grandmother. We understand it was Marianne's way of consoling her fellow student, but we're sure you have realised this behaviour is inappropriate to say the least. Given this is not the first behavioural problem we've informed you about, we believe it's time for us to meet and talk about Marianne's future in our school. And she's just being a psychic. No need to be harsh. My oldest family heirloom. As a kid, I'd show this to people just to freak them out. I'd usually say something like, Pretty sick, huh? I was such a dork. So I'm guessing at three years old. She's got second degree burns covering 35% of body area, uh, inhalation injuries, wound coverage, and then that's just what they did to the patient. Um... Okay, so should we assume that her parents were in a fire or something when she was three years old and that's when she came to live with Jack? So she lived with Jack for a long, long time. Do I have ray tracing shadows on? I should be in this reflection here. Maybe it's not on currently. Where am I? I should be there. I don't see myself. <laughs> no, I don't think the uh, ray tracing's on currently. I'll sort that out after this video. It's fine. Not a big deal. We lived upstairs from Jack's funeral home. It wasn't as weird as it sounds. Besides, if it wasn't for that, I may never have learned to use my powers. It's gonna nip back inside. There's an open door. It's not an open door, never mind. <clears throat> it's weird, it's quite a depressing little area, but it's got this homely sort of charm to it as well. People always make the best out of a bad situation, eh? See what I mean about the camera angle here? It's fixed. I can't control it, but it's moving with me as well. It's quite um cinematic. I actually locked the game to 30 FPS specifically to maintain a cinematic kind of feel. This is very dramatic. I like this. Jack taught me to accept my condition. Of all my foster parents, he was the only one who saw it as a gift and not a curse. 
vibrating slightly. It's very disconcerting. The last goodbye funeral home. Did it. I'm amazing. <laughs> I'm so good at video Just games. Prep room. Prepare Jack for his last journey. It must be interesting losing someone. Oh, weird. I don't remember locking it. When you consider yourself a medium or a psychic or whatever. And as much as you may lose someone, you still believe you can communicate with them. So it, does it dampen the loss at all? I don't know. I'm not a psychic. I like this tree though. It's the tree. It's the white tree of Gondor. <laughs> the beacons are lit. Gondor calls for aid. It actually does look like the white tree of Gondor. It hasn't bloomed, which means this, the king isn't about. Here it is. Got it. Record funeral. Name of deceased Adam Nowak. Probably Novak. <clears throat> Date of birth, 1976, Krakow, spelled correctly, interesting. Uh, university student married, died in a car accident. So these are the surfaces they did, flowers embalming and dressing the body. Jack, Mrs. Nowak brought funeral payment confirmation today, it's in the cabinet. Also Robert took Friday off, we'll need to find someone else for the funeral. Oh, that's from me. It's in the cabinet. Okay, we're going to remember that, see if we can make some moolah. Now if I'm going to... Spend all day prepping dead people. We may as well get paid, I suppose. There's a car outside. That might not seem like a big deal, but that's pretty cool. <laughs> and a person! A human person! It's all very exciting. Can we go down here? No. You open? No. Nope. To the prep room, then. She doesn't remember locking it. It's very sus. You're gonna maybe go down into the basement, aren't you? <laughs> I mean, I know this is where you would keep a body, but it's a horror game, guys. If you're new to the channel or you just haven't seen me play a horror game before, I um, wouldn't say I'm great with horror <laughs> in general. I tend to get pretty spooked. Actually, I feel like I have several stages of horror. The first is getting scared. The last one is getting angry. Not sure if I'm ready for this. Probably some bargaining in the middle, I would say. I'd like to explore the world thoroughly, though, if we can. You know, the story is, is a story-heavy game. We should treat it as such. Hey, hey Jack. Jack. Whoa. <laughs> Maybe I'm the medium. special clip? No. Where's your tie? I should have realised I was trying to tie clip something that wasn't actually a tie, which is moderately stupid. Is this tie down here for some reason? Do I have to go back upstairs? I can't imagine it's ties down here, right? It's pretty. Oh, no, there it is. That's a nice tie, actually. Quite stylish. Uh, sorry, it's a combine. There we go. Well, look at that. Snazzy. You wouldn't have it any other way. He looks like a snazzy guy. He's got that vibe. I didn't expect this to be easy. I guess I didn't know what to expect. When things get personal, it... Burns you from the inside out. There. I guess you're ready. But am I?
can't you people read? The sign says closed. <gasps> Ghosts don't care if the shop's closed. They're not a fire. It's a little deep cut reference for you get there, folks. Oh, what is that? Why is there a spooky thing? Make it go away. Is it gone? It's gone. That's actually more disconcerting <laughs> than that it was there and now it's gone. Oh, this camera angle just shuts off your field of view entirely. It's why old Resident Evil games were scary, in a way. The camera angle obscured enemies, you know? Bloody kids trashing my funeral home. Oh! Stop that. It's very rude. Guess you felt it too. Give me cat. And then it happened. As it did so many times before. Just when I thought my day couldn't get any worse. Oh. oh, where is that darn notebook? I'm gonna be late. I need to find that. Marianne? Oh. Marianne, are you... are you crying, my child? I... Jack. Now, now, you didn't happen to see my notebook, did you, darling? Uh, my memory's a bit fuzzy. So much for aging gracefully. <laughs> Where is that? Listen, Jack. You should probably get some rest. Forget the notebook. Oh, no, no. I, I've got so much work, my dear. It's I, okay, I, Jack. I, I can't just... It's not important. You... you are crying. What's wrong, dear? Oh, why is it so cold in here? Oh, where is that shh, 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 shh. Hmm? It's okay, hey. Jack. It's okay. My sweet little Marianne. <laughs> what would I ever do without you? <laughs> Jack. It's time to get some rest. Oh, Mary. Yeah? No. I, I, I'm worried about the surgery. When I'm at the hospital, are, are you sure you're going to be all right? Yes, Jack. It's going to be fine. Uh, oh, you know, uh, I promised myself once. Uh, I would never let anything happen to you. Not while I'm around. I'll be fine. I promise. Uh, <laughs> no risky stuff then. Huh? All right? All right, Jack. Now, get some uh, rest. I need no. Yes, yes. Be, be good, Marianne. I love you, my child. I've loved you since the moment you walked into my life. Remember that. Always. Most people would give anything to have that opportunity. To say all the things that were left unsaid. But it didn't make things any easier. I could help a thousand souls cross over, but when it came to Jack, it still hurt like hell. I love you too, Daddy. I guess that answers my question, eh? 
<clears throat> I used to think everyone saw the world the way I did. Divided. Torn between two realities. But... No. I was the only one. Or so I thought. We're closed. There's another funeral home across town. I can give you the number. I... Marianne. Who is this? You don't know me, Marianne. But I know you. Look, if this is a joke... I... You'd need to listen to me, Marianne. Okay, I I'm hanging up. I know what you are. What? Who is this? My name is Thomas. I need your help. Uh -huh. <laughs> Listen, if that's all you've got, I'm... No, uh. there's more. I can give you the answers you've been looking for your whole life. But I need you to trust me. Trust you? I don't even know you. It all starts with a dead girl. What did you say? The Neva Resort. Find me there. Please. The light, it's almost gone. It's not dark yet, but it's getting there. You're the only one who can stop it. You're my only chance. Hello? Hello? Shit. Huh. Oh. Proper fancy credits. I can talk over these, right? Yeah. I like this proper archival footage. Archival footage, I should say. I'm into that. The game is set in Poland, I believe. And I think they're a Polish team. The names are certainly suggesting they're a Polish team anyway. Dudek, Jersey Dudek, famous Liverpool goalkeeper. Won the 20, well, 2005 Champions League with us. It's funny how just. Ominous music, black and white, <laughs> just changes the... That was a quite happy scene there, this festive looking guy dancing around in a circle. But you change the music and you add a black and white filter and all this effect and suddenly it's like, what does he know? What is he up to? What does he dance for? Why doth the children dance, pray tell? I wonder if this is actual footage or stuff they recorded for the purpose of the game. Curious. That's uh, live footage off the film The Birds by Hitchcock. It's a great looking logo. So that, you may have noticed, <clears throat> that whole dual world thing, is it's essentially the main hook of the game. The game processes, at least during the right times, processes both worlds simultaneously. That's why it's a modern gen game only, because it literally couldn't function on older consoles. I'm not convinced by this 30 FPS thing I've done now. I might change that as well. She gives me, um... And off I went. Vibes from the girl from Control. A, hunch. a call from a complete stranger. But I'd learned to trust my instincts, and there was something about this guy, his voice. I felt like I should know him. Either way, he sure seemed to know me. Very cinematic game. Which I appreciate. It someone into horror films as much as I am, despite being a total scaredy cat, which is ironic, I know.
The Neva Workers Resort. Right off the bat, I could feel there was something off about that place. I mean, probably the way it looks, I'd I guess. Uh, I'm wondering if there's a... Uh... I've heard really good things about the um, the photo mode in this game, but I would not have a clue how you would activate it, or if it even can at this point. Oh, nope. Okay, maybe we get a camera. Maybe I'm just not hitting the right buttons. Although it's a controller, how many buttons are there? Now, if this was a proper horror film, someone would pop up and tell me, "Don't go hey, to the Nero Resort," and then I would go I to the Nero not. Resort anyway. This is very, very cool looking though. It's a postcard. Niwat says hello. Niwa says hello. You would love it here, my dear. Amazing day room for kids and free art lessons. Lots of families and the hotel is huge. I've never seen anything like it. Wish you could be here with me. Miss you, F. Sound like a lovely couple. What the? Oh, hello. hello? Thomas? Pretty sure it's a zombie. <laughs> I'm just saying, I'm pretty sure that's a zombie. Oh, that's a little creepy. He's just gonna walk off. I'm gonna move away from this until the face pops in front of it or something like that. I'm getting Until Dawn vibes from that scene right there. The front gate was locked up tight. I needed to find another way in. Okay. This is helpful. What does that say? Best Z Wadowski. Yeah. That was my first thought as well. Alright. Uh, maybe I can get behind this building over here. Yeah, looking good. Looking good. You want to keep me out, Neva? This is classic horror movie stuff right here. <laughs> Neva. I think it's a V, not a W. Well, it's Polish, though. So. We're going to have to do better than that. Not a whole lot of people knew about Neva. It used to be a government-owned vacation resort. Until one day it just stopped. And so an urban legend was born. The Neva Massacre. The details were always fuzzy. Crazed workers, ancient curses. You know, the usual. It's pretty sus, though. Where's that man gone? He walked off this way. It's very peculiar, but he walked off basically... I thought he was there. <laughs> I thought that was him then. He walked off towards the land. Like, there's, there's not a path there, so where did he go? I'm very sus of that man. He will be the next to be ejected. Nice. Why is action? X is read or look. <clears throat> Left trigger is sprint. Oh, yeah, let's just go into the creepy woods. God knows nothing bad has happened in creepy woods before. You've given me two options. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no? I'm gonna go back the other way because it looks. Huh. Hello. Oh, hello. Ooh. Little child footprints. Well, I don't want to fall the little child footprints, quite frankly. But this looks like a dead end, so. If in doubt, follow the dead end, right? Yeah. It's... What's this old thing? That's uh, basically video game lore. No wonder history keeps biting us in the ass. In memory of the victims of World War Two, I think nine nine point five. For the daughters and sons of the land, here they rest, buried as they fell, to remind us that the whole earth is their grave. 
So insight seems to be a relatively small circle. Oh, wait, that just flashed at me, didn't it? Something shiny on the ground. I'm not crazy. Can't go around this way, though. <laughs> this just flashed here. I swear to God. It might have just been the shine off the ball, admittedly. Wait, does this activate? No, I don't think so. Okay. Well, I guess it's just world building. Which is fine, don't get me wrong. It's like, um... It's like a creepy Final Fantasy in the way that the camera moves. Because Final Fantasy used to do this. It's very odd. This forest is pretty spectacular to look at, it must be said. Alright then. Follow the creepy girl footprints. <laughs> Not a sentence that's ever led to good things in anybody's life, quite frankly, but... Here we go. There's only one place it can be. I suppose I don't have to insight for this, but... I've lost them. They just end. Hmm. Oh, and the back. Interesting. <clears throat> T and K nineteen E eight. I think that's what it said. It might be 19 EB. It's definitely T and K. And then 19 something. Hmm. Just want to make sure we uh, explore the world fully, but yeah, I think the game wants me to go in a very specific direction right now. It is. We'll have to find out. Oh no. It's not safe. I have to keep going. <laughs> um, what's load do? What's it look like? Right, okay. So it's just random water saving. Good to know. We're going to end it there. Thank you very much for joining me, ladies and gentlemen. We are going to be back with part two today. And then going forward, it'll be a daily series lasting about half an hour along with Assassin's Creed. Very exciting. Thank you so much for joining me. I'll see you lovely folks next time. Cheers, myself as always. Bye bye.